Hello everyone, my name is Heath, and together with my best friend Chris, we make up Elliot Barbecue. We're a competition barbecue team out of Central Columbus. I'm making this video today because I've been asked to uh, by a friend of mine, and I get a lot of questions about how the two of us made our trailer, how we work out of a 6x12 Vino's trailer, how do we have enough room, is it cramped, is it cold, is it hot? How did you do it? So, I made a quick video uh, with some pictures that I took today, and I'm gonna do my best to describe how we did it. And I'll tell you that we have right around $3,500 uh, in it. I'm making this to help people out who might be up and coming and uh, looking to get a, uh, a trailer to work out of and, and not break the bank. So, uh, as you've seen, uh, the exterior of our trailer, um, we just have some decals put on the outside, and that right there is a stabilization uh, leveler. Uh, inside, we haul everything inside of our trailer. Uh, as you can see, I had to uh, make a, a second story, if you will, to hold our tents. Uh, we use E track on the side of the walls, uh, those double as tie downs for our. Uh, the load inside the trailer and uh, as you'll see a little bit later uh, for our bunk beds. And we cook with two WSMs and two drums and uh, I made these uh, brackets to keep them secure along the side of the wall without harming them. A single strap will keep two of them in place. Uh, as you can see those are our two by fours uh, that we use to make our second story uh, to uh, haul everything. Uh, here is our floor. Uh, it's a diamond pattern rubber material that I purchased on Amazon. Uh, does a very good job. That's just our inside of our door where we put stickers <laughs> of things that we like and, and uh, maybe some stickers of our team, team friends that we uh, hang out with. That is a screen door. That is a must. Uh, it's a magnet in the middle. You can just walk through it and it keeps out a lot of the bugs. Uh, that's a terrible picture of a hand sanitizer um, it's battery powered squirts out uh, hand sanitizer if we need it uh, that's our air conditioner it's a standalone uh, no drain required but we do have an exhaust port um, it works very well keeps the keeps the trailer plenty cool uh, during the hot days uh, pictures that our shelves in the Vino's uh, section uh, I will also notate that we did remove the walls from our trailer and insulate them with R5 insulation and then put the walls back up along with the ceiling. Uh, so the trailer is insulated and that's why that, uh, that air conditioner uh, does such a good job. Uh, we also carry around a little heater that if it gets uh, too cold, uh, the heater uh, does a good job as well. <clears throat> These are all just photos of, of the trailer uh, inside, obviously. Um, in the condition in which we haul it. Uh, the only thing that is missing in the trailer at this time is obviously our four smokers. Um, but they all go in the back nice and neat in those moon-shaped brackets that I've uh, created. Which as you can see in this picture fold up and get out of your way uh, when you're not using them. Uh, some wooden cabinets that I made out of scrap uh, plywood and scrap uh, walnut lumber that I have uh, laying around. I'm a woodworker so I've, I've got plenty of scrap wood uh, to work with. Um, some cabinets up there on top there on that side of the wall to keep some rubs and trash bags and whatever you want to keep up there. Again this is only six foot wide inside um, so maximizing your space is key. Uh, I kind of liked the challenge of that, and uh, and I liked the uh, the financial aspect of of having a smaller trailer as well. Uh, I installed all this stuff. That electric panel there, I installed. It's a 30 amp service. Um, we have all the uh, necessary adapters. Uh, we can plug it into pretty much anything: 30 amp, 20 amp, 15 amp. Even I, I plug it into an outlet in my garage sometimes when I'm working on it. That's the trailer after you take down the second story that stores our tents. 
and there are bunk beds. Um, I simply move the 2x4 brackets down on the E-track and uh, I have some plywood there. Cut the two just to make it easier to move around and uh, that's where two uh, fully grown men uh, sleep inside this trailer. Once we get there and we unload our stuff we set up our beds and they stay up the whole weekend. I felt it necessary to take a picture or a couple pictures of this sink. It has nothing to do with the inside of the trailer. However, I did design it so that it fits underneath of our shelf, as you uh, saw earlier, because we have hot water anywhere we go. And uh, that right there, that guy is the reason for it. We hook it up to propane and uh, have hot water. Uh, that's a drain, I don't know, <laughs> an unorthodox uh, drainage system that drains into a rhino black water tank that we towed around, just so we don't have to empty a bucket every once in a while. It'll usually get us through a whole comp. There's our AC unit hooked up, exhaust port to the outside, and I have a sewage plug that I ordered from E-Trailer that keeps that exhaust port closed up uh, during travel. Now those are our shelves again. That's usually not where we keep our levelers and chocks. We usually are uh, using them under the trailer. Stainless steel shelf that we use for a table. It's, I believe, 5 foot by 18 inches. Um, and then uh, the sink is usually outside, of course. Um, but that's some extra room that we have. Uh, you know, put a cooler or whatever you want to put there when you're finished. Uh, inside those totes is all the gear that we use. And those are a couple of chairs and um, I believe a collapsible trash can in there. Um, paper towel roll, uh, foil roll. The foil roll is, is a must, uh, incredibly convenient. Keeps it out of the way and you just roll it out onto the counter and, and, and move on. Again, the cabinet from scrap plywood and hardwood I had laying around the shop uh, to make a uh, shelf for our bus tubs and Cambro as you saw there. We also have a cabinet on top of that where we keep some miscellaneous gear. <clears throat> there you see the brackets for the smokers folded up uh, so that we can uh, install the, the bunk beds uh, for us to rack out at night for the few hours we do sleep. These lights are amazing. They're LED. They require very little power. The installation is incredibly simple. As you can see, it's a couple of brackets per light, and you just simply plug them in. Very bright. Something like 2200 lumens if you use a six of them. And there's our exhaust fan. Plain and simple. If you've got any other questions about what we did or something that maybe I forgot to cover in this, um, just give me a shout. Find us on Facebook or Instagram, and we'll be glad to answer any of your questions. Uh, if you're getting the trailer and you want to transform it into something like this, I highly suggest it. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you out there.